Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got a horrible windy day. We got Sam with us. Hell yeah. We're gonna go out foraging to see what we can find. Pick up a bit of seaweed to try out. We've been looking at some lately, eh, mate? Yeah, so, it's interesting. We want to try some. Exactly. See, see what it tastes like. We've got a bit of garlic butter with us. We're going to try and find a lobster or some cockles. It's a 4-6 win coming up to a 4-8, so we've got to be quick about it. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing. Woo! What we're going to start off with, we're going to walk around the rock edges looking for anything to eat today. We're up for anything, so it's more of a taste test forage. <laughs> and you can see all the razor rack around. We'll be trying a bit of that later on. Go on, Sam. Big muscles. Oh, there's a shanker there. There's a brown edible crab. No way near the size that we need. Nice to see though. What else we got in here? A couple of little gobies. It's a windy old day today, eh? Yeah, not nice. Yeah, there's a couple of gobies in there. There's one there. Oh, I missed him. Oh no, I got him. Oh, it's a scorpion fish. Check that out, guys. Wow. This right here is a baby scorpion fish. And they got, usually they have a blue color underneath their bellies. There you go. <laughs> Awesome little creatures. This is only a really tiny one, but they're great to see. Just lifted this rock here. You can see these are porcelain cra crabs or broad claw porcelain crabs. That's some sort of slug or something like that. I've never seen one of them before. If you know what anything is in the videos, guys, leave it in the comments. We're always up for learning new things. When we're looking for lobster holes, guys, we're looking for stuff like this, where it's all been dug out. You can see the fresh sand. And the lobsters are usually sitting right at the back of the crack of it. And that's where we'll find them. Can anyone identify this for me? This is a certain type of plant or seaweed that I've never seen before. It's got lovely like a pinky orange colour to it, eh, sir? Yeah, strange. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know if that's edible. Yeah, I've got a little one as well. What we're doing is just looking under the rocks, finding little shankers and that, having a mooch about. Oh, I've got an oyster, Sam. No way. <laughs> oh my I God. Thought, I thought it was just the uh, shell. Is that actually Oh, gold? check this out, guys. This is new to the channel. Check the size of that for an oyster. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's a first for me. Dirty old oyster. But hey, ho, we're going to eat this sucker. Woo! Gotta keep an eye out, mate. Is that just on the, the sand, is it? Yeah, it was just buried into there. Where were they? That's mad. Is that one? That's, That's one. Shell. Oh, yeah, it's a shell. Is that a shell? Yeah. Ah, right. ah. Can't believe we've actually found one. <laughs> That's mad. Is that, is that two? Yeah, I think it's two together. Break it apart. That yeah, is as well. Too. Look at that one. That's huge. We're going to look up the legal size limit for these guys. We found a little patch, and we don't ever find these normally, eh? Oh like you find the odd little one, but these are these are freaking massive. We found the honey hole for oysters. Now there was two here. What they were just stuck to the rocks, and they're lovely size ones as well. That one open. Gonna have to check some of these. I don't know. I'm not an expert with oysters, but I know because there's oyster beds on this beach that the water is clean enough for me to eat these. God, how many have we got now, mate? You see the abundance of seaweed we've got around here, guys. All sorts. I don't know all of it, but we're going to have a little taste test after. That looks like a good lobster hole, sir. 
<laughs> Do you want your hook? Yeah. Oh, there you go. This is a great little spot, eh? We're not going to show the coast because we know people are going to come here if there's oysters. Oh what you got? You got a lobster? No. Look oh my god, look at the size of that one. <laughs> oh my god. That is huge. You can tell they've been there for a while. Look at everything yeah, growing on them, eh? Massive. That's mad. Well done, mate. That's a beast. I'm having this one. Can't believe it. We've found no crabs, no lobsters yet. We're not at our best spot, but we found, what, seven big oysters now. I've never found oysters that big before. Look at that one. That one was a ridiculous size, sir. Uh. So we're going to look up on the internet how to cook these because this is something we don't prepare for because we don't usually find these. Places like this, where you see we've got sandy gravel with loads of big boulders in. Lobster shell. And look, I was just about to say, this is the sort of place where the lobsters will be. Oh. Like, you can be amazing. You could go around here where it doesn't look like there's a hole. And next minute, your hook will go right in. Sam's on a lobster hunt. I'm going to check through this lot. Hopefully we can get some. These are the oyster beds. This is where they farm the oysters. As you can see, they're about... Uh, two inches long, inch and a half long. We have different cycles, and this is what we reckon's happened: is in the storms, one of these things have broken off and washed down the back, and they've just grown over the years. It shows how long they've got to grow. When you see one this size compared to the ones they're farming, it's mad. Walking along the beach here, we're finding empty shells. Is that That's an empty one. Oh, they're all empty. Shows how many oysters are around. Like, it must have been the storms breaking up and up. Just been doing some research on Sam's phone, just, just on the oysters. These are Pacific rock oysters. They're not native to the UK. We just wanted to check, to see what we were eating. Had a pretty good idea, but it's always best to be safe. I'm over the moon with these. I'm gonna have to give them a good clean up. But they take four years to get to the two and a half inch mark. So I mean, don't that just shows, eh? That one there must be really old. Two years to get, uh, four years to get to two inches. Yeah, that's crazy. I bet they taste good. Woohoo! Rock paper scissors. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Uh, the lobster hole's just here, guys. So I'm going to give Sam the camera and hopefully there's one in it. We've got a lot of water in the hole, so hopefully we can find one. Nah, nothing this time, mate. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. That's the best lobster we got here, eh? Yeah. Alright, let's go find some more. The hunt is on. Check this out. Nice sea urchin there. Prickly little things. I'm not going to take him off the rock. No need to. But they're awesome looking. Got purple, greens. It's one of the bigger ones we've found. But apparently they get quite a lot bigger than that. But great things to find. Let's go find that lobster, Sam. Sam was just checking for a lobster. <laughs> he plucked an abalone out. Size of it. Yeah, this would have been legal size, but it's not the right time of year, all the dates to get them. So we can't keep any of these today, but lovely to see them that size. Yeah, definitely. Nice size velvet swimming crab there. This one was inside a hole. As you can see, that one's well over the legal size. Some big claws. And that one's good for the cook pot. Nice, we're finding something else. Whew. This right here is called a squat lobster because it looks like he's always sitting down doing some squats. <laughs> awesome. They don't taste very good. I tried one of these in a foraging video a while back. So we'll let him go. He should start flapping. <laughs> What's up? Hey! What you got? I can't see from here. The smallest <laughs> lobster ever. Ah, he's got a prawn. He's got a prawn. <laughs> Go Look on. At the size of that. <laughs> that is tiny. Look at that. Absolute tiny. We want this one's great grandma. Look at it compared to the size of Sam. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> a little bloody prawn, eh? 
Looks a bit soft as well. We get the rock back, get him back safely. The brown crab there. Not big enough though. And I got full. Don't know if you can see it, guys. But watch this. <laughs> this is called a conger eel. This is what we love catching. The massive ones of these. Let's get back in the water. I don't want him to bite me. Check that out. What a cool creature. Nice size lady crab there. We pulled this rock up underneath me. It's quite a big one. There's uh, quite a few. You let him get away. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. There we go. You got him. There we go. Quick measure. Look oh, at that one. It's about the same as the other one, eh? Yep. Beautiful. It's two lady crabs. That's a fatty, eh? We've already tried these. We're not too keen on them. They don't have a great deal of meat, but awesome to see. Look at the colours on it. That's a proper big male crab, that one. We always find a lot of these small abalone. Shame we can't keep a couple for the cook pot. They're absolutely delicious. And I get this rock back now, it's absolutely massive. <laughs> this is the one time a big lobster got away from us. <laughs> there's a huge hole under this rock, and there's a big lobster in it, eh, sir? Yeah, very big. It was fighting the hooks, you could hear it splashing around. We've dug the side out, but it's right under here and it goes right underneath, so we can't get to it. Cut my hand up trying to get it, but this is the one lobster that got away. We'll be back though. Couldn't find any more lobsters. So we're gonna head off to the cockle grounds now. See if we can find some clams of some sort. Maybe something else. And then we're cooking, baby. Woo! Trying to get some cockles now. As you've seen in previous videos, all we're doing is just raking shallow on the ground, waiting for a little knock on the uh, on the rake, and hopefully get some nice big ones. We're still going at it. We're not finding a huge amount, but we're finding some good ones. There's some nice sizes there, a few smaller ones. We don't want too many, we just want enough for a feed. All we're doing now is we want to get these as clean as we can. Just getting all the dirt off. You can tell they've been living in the rocks and sand for a while, eh? <laughs> that it's a beast and all we're doing just for the cockles we're just going to rinse them off get the sand off get any dead ones out and that's all it is really we're going to go up to the bunker now we're going to get set up we're going to gather up a bit more seaweed because we've left the bundle down there because we were cleaning it <laughs> and we'll see you at the bunker guys for the cook up oh check that one beautiful Huge. Woo! Track. We got our sea water. Hell yeah. What we're doing at the moment, guys, we're going to cook the oysters first. So I've gone down, got some sea water in the bowl. I'm going to get that to a rolling boil and we're going to give the oysters a good half an hour, 35 minutes in boiling water to cook through and we're going to finish them off in the frying pan and then we're going to add the cockles and stuff. Our water is just starting to boil now so what we're going to do is get the oysters in. We've got a good amount of really big oysters, feisty lady crabs. There we go, that's our haul of oysters, lovely sized ones. All we're gonna do is plop them into the boiling water and this will kill all the bacteria. Like so, oh look at that, perfect. You wanna come up for a little close up there, Sam? 
That's them in the water now, and we're going to give those a good 30 minutes boil. Just so we can make sure that we're not eating any impurities or anything really. We're, not, we're no expert on oysters, we just know the place we got them from is fresh water, so we know we can eat them. The oysters have had a good 20 minutes now. So what we're going to do is we're going to dispatch the lady crabs. We're going to get those on the boil with them. It actually smell really nice, doesn't it? It does. It's <laughs> the so first for us on this channel, cooking up oysters like this. So when I get to this now, we'll show you how to dispatch them. Woo! How we dispatch the uh, lady crabs. You've probably seen this in previous videos, but this is just for the newcomers. You've got in between the eyes here, and this is where its brain is. So all we do is get a blunt instrument, straight through the head, mush his brain up, and that's him gone. There we go. That's two dead crabs, ready for the boil pot. And all we do is come up and get them, let go, straight into the cook pot. And those will cook nicely with the oysters. And by the time the oysters are ready to fry, the crabs will be ready. Just getting the oysters out now. As you can see, they've just started to open. Oh yeah, they're all open now. Look at that. Awesome. Just pull them open. Like that. And there you go. You can see the meat is completely different to when they're raw. They're sort of like a big mussel. How we're gonna cook these for the final part and the cockles. Gonna get a big old dollop of butter in there. Look at that. We want it all cooking up nice, baby. We've got a little bit of olive oil because a subscriber was saying that it's good to cook with olive oil, so we're gonna give it a go. A little dash of olive oil in there. And the good old smash favourite, the garlic. We've got pureed garlic this time because it's a bit of a pain picking it all to pieces. So there we go. We're going to get that like a bit of a sauce because we're going to be cooking the uh, cockles in this as well. We didn't do too great with the cockles this time, eh, mate? Nah, the tide was a bit high. We've got a couple of big ones there though, and they go straight in the frying pan. So like we've said in previous videos, it's always nice to purge them first. That one looks a bit dodgy, we'll get rid of that. So there we go. And what we're doing with our oysters, we're gonna grab the meat out and get those in there as well. What we're doing now, we're just gonna pick off some strands. We've got razor rack, and we've got dulse. So that's what we're gonna try up today. We don't want too much of it. We just, this is just a taste test. I'm gonna put this in with the garlic butter and the clams, and let it cook down. And all we do is just, we're gonna simmer that down with the rest of it. And hopefully, it tastes good. It's the first for me, razor rack and stuff like that. I've never tried it. So we're gonna let that all cook down now. And we're gonna get eaten. Look at it turning green, look. It's turning from brown to green. That's cool. That's interesting, eh? That's wicked. Smells lovely, eh, mate? It smells really good. Oh, yeah. This is a first for us, guys. Those cockles are well nice. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's in the garlic butter and that fried, eh? Uh, yeah. Gives a little bit of different taste, doesn't it? It tastes amazing. Mmm. Oh, I'm intrigued right. about these oysters. Yeah. Bottoms up, mate. Check that out guys, absolutely delicious. Loads of juice in it. Oh. Oh 
my god. Why can't these grow normally like that, eh? If we could get these every trip, that's delicious, man. And check the size of that. Don't get a huge bit of meat in them, but it's quite substantial to be fair. That is nice. Mmm. No grip whatsoever, eh? That is really nice. Mm. I've watched a lot of uh, YouTube videos of people eating oysters and collecting them off the beach. I can see why they rave about them now. <laughs> mm, what a difference. Really nice. Rock, paper, scissors for the last one. You have it, mate. Sure? Yeah, you have it. Alright. I'm not going to say no. Nah. All of that. That's garlic butter dripping out of there. Oh. I reckon they're my second favourite foraging food now. After lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> that is good, eh? Really nice. Really tasty. Yeah. Right, let's try a bit of the seaweed. We put it to one side so we can warm it up in the water a little bit. And you can see it's gone bright green, eh? So Ross, this is the dulse, I think. That's the dulse. We're no experts at oysters or seaweed, like I've said before in this video. But we're happy to try it. Chewy? Yeah. What did you try? Uh, that one. Is that the dolls? Yeah. This is the razor rack. What's this one? That's the same. That's razor rack as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah, quite chewy that one, eh? Yeah. Not bad. Oh my god, that's chewy. That's like green beans. Ugh. Yeah, nah. I'm not a rabbit. Nah. That's not nice. <laughs> I'd rather that eat the dolls crab. is nice though. Yeah, it's not bad. A bit chewy though. Yeah. Good old lady crabs. These are absolutely delicious. Very sweet, these crabs. You know, we showed you the ones that are even in the oyster beds. They're about that big. So it shows how long these have been sitting on the beach for. Especially that one. That's a huge That's the biggest oyster I've ever seen. Over here, anyway. <laughs> awesome. So it won't leave you too much longer, guys. We're gonna finish off our lovely meal. Completely different one, eh? Oh, very different. Yeah. We had high hopes for a lobster, but that just didn't happen. But we're happy we found the oysters to make up for it. So we're going to finish our meal now. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, it's uh, at, the, uh, at the Guernsey Angler. I'll leave the link in the description. If you like my channel, guys, like and subscribe. There's plenty more to come. Hopefully, more of this. <laughs> so stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing. This is what we do with all of our old shells. But leave them for the fish to eat. I'm gonna quickly wash this off. Absolutely delicious. You can see how bad the weather is at the moment, kicking up a storm. We've got rain, 